What's poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at the Lego, um, build here for the Batmobile, for the new Batman film, um, just a quick note, I do have two Batmans, uh, and I will show them both just to show the alternative, uh, head thing, because, um, in this set it does come with two Batman heads, so we'd like to close it up before we take a look at the build, so here we go, um, take a look at the build here, um, it is a very nice sleek design, I have a sticker across there, with a couple of bullet holes, or like some, pings in it. We have a nice little um, grill there with a little orange stud underneath it and if you do push one of these down, I push both of them down, it does shoot these sort of silver uh, little bullets here and as you can see they perk back up when you pop them back in. Uh, so this is a very easily pressable button so I have accidentally fired it multiple times. Um, we have some blue flames coming out the top here because it's like a hot rod. Some like extra flames coming out the bottom. A nice sticker down here and there. Um, as like some nail holes. We have a very nice print at the back um, which is there uh, with some stickers at the side for some backlights. Uh, overall, it's a very big engine at the back, shooting out blue flames. We are only in... We're not even in the blue at the moment. So this isn't even the fastest it can go. It can shoot out this massive blue flame, but it's not the fastest it can go. We have some little um, things there. I don't know what they are. And some wands to keep these things in place, which is pretty unique. Um, we can take off the top, and it does see two minifigures in there. One driver, and then one to push the buttons. On the side here, we even have some buttons down here. All accessible to Batman, even even if he does have to lean over to the other seat. Because um, I do believe in this movie, Batman works alone. Uh, maybe yes, Selena Kyle, I don't know. Um, but this is a very cool build. It's a very big car. I wouldn't be able to tell this is a Batmobile. Um, this just looks like a hot rod to me. If you took all the like blue flames off, um, it would just be a hot rod to me. Looks pretty cool. Um, looks very fancy. Sort of has the bat towards the back with these little points there, maybe for the bat ears, I don't know, um, still a very cool build, I do like the set, it's very cool, it's one of the better Batma Batmobiles that we've had in a while, so I do definitely like it, um, it does roll pretty well as well, I always do that test when we buy a car, see if it rolls nicely, or if it gets stuck on anything, um, but yeah, it looks, it, it's a very cool little car, who doesn't, who doesn't like cars, Lego's favourite thing to do, um, but moving on to the figures, um, we do have this Batman here with some nice front torso printing, uh, leg printing, and even back torso printing there, which has like a batarang, a uh, couple of other gear there. Um, he does have one head, which is like Cedric Diggory, or the guy from Twilight. Um, he has a very like confused face, and then a very angry face, and then a nice like curved like little cool guy hair there. He does have a few batarangs in this set, but I decided not to give him them. Uh, and we also have an alternate head for him here, which is the Bat Cowl, uh, which has his usual Batman head where he has the stone called Steve Austin, and that there, the sort of confident one, looks pretty cool. I do like this figure. It is the cape with the one hole in it. Um, and there you go. That is the Batman of the set. This is what the set is entirely based off. There is a bus stop outside my house where there is... Uh, a Batman poster. Moving on to Oswald, um, which is the Penguin. This is a very nice live-action Penguin. It's the first live-action Penguin since Danny DeVito, which is quite sad because Danny DeVito was a very good Penguin. Um, but yeah, he does have a very confident face. I've seen a lot of people use this for the uh, Green Goblin from The Amazing Spider-Man. He's some nice back torso printing with a lot of details with a little sewing seam across there, some wrinkles. And then this torso print does go onto his legs with his purple coat and, like, trousers, I guess, onto his boots. He does wear a massive trench coat as well, a nice tie with a purple or a pinkish shirt. Looks pretty cool. He also looks pretty angry. You give him a little gun. And he also does have a new blaster. This is a new blaster type. Um, it is like a handheld gun, and if you push this in the back, you send that stud flying, and it did bounce around because I am engaged in a little box here. Um, so overall, a very cool little build. A very cool little penguin. Very fancy. A lot of detail on him. Uh, I do like him. Uh, very cool. Very cool set. It is one of them. It is the middle of the Batman sets because there is four, I do believe. Uh, no, I lied. There's three Batman sets. Uh, and they are all very cool. However, I'm not spending a lot of money uh, to get the big Bat Cave because I already have the people I want. I'm only missing out on Riddler. And I am not too big of a fan of the Riddler's design. 
um, to be honest, for this new film. Uh, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.